Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm gonna start with a little story. After I got out of high school, I pretty much immediately moved to California. I went there to pursue a dream of mine, which was video production. I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be in the movie industry. It was something that was really um, near and dear to my heart. So anyways, so I go there to pursue that. And obviously when you drive cross country, you can't bring that many things with you unless you have like a U-Haul or something like that. But I just had my car. I packed it with as much stuff as I could. And I was like, I'm out of here. I'm going to California. Well, I left a lot of stuff behind um, and I brought as much as I could. So after being there for a while and going to school, I went back home to visit my parents. And when I went there, I was looking for something very specific that I left behind my Sega Dreamcast. Well, unbeknownst to me, my mom threw it away. Yup, she threw it away. So that was really sad to me because um, the Dreamcast was one of those systems. In my mind, it's the last great Sega system. I had so much love for this thing. It's just like, at the time, the graphics, the sounds, like everything just seemed so amazing. So you can imagine how devastating it was for, for me when I got there realizing I'm going through the tub of stuff where normally my video game stuff was and literally there was like nothing in it. So super, super upsetting for me. But anyways, so fast forward, you know, last year, I got myself a Dreamcast again. Now I'm starting from square one, but uh, I can tell you exactly where I was when I got this, and I can tell you exactly where I got it, and I can tell you the exact date. It was nine nine ninety nine. I'm not going to hold it against my mom that she threw it away. She had no clue what this was or the significance of it to me. But uh, being a pretty nostalgic kind of guy, I love this thing. So in this episode, I'm gonna if you if you are an owner of a Sega Dreamcast, I am going to help you enhance this thing and get a little bit more pleasure about pleasure from it because it's no longer 9999 it's 2019 but i want to party like it is 9999 so sit back relax and let's do it <music> All right, guys, let's get this party started with the GDEMU. So what this is gonna be able to do, it's gonna enable us to put our games on SD card and boot from there, but we gotta make sure that our Dreamcast is version one or VA1. It is not compatible with other versions, so if you don't have that, I'm sorry, and don't continue, because you will break your Dreamcast, or potentially break your Dreamcast. All right, let's get these screws unscrewed. There's four screws. One of them is actually hidden under that little adapter on the side, uh, that expansion adapter that you saw me take off. So make sure you take that off, otherwise uh, you'll be wondering why the top doesn't come off. So uh, just a little tip there. So after we get that done, the top comes off super easy, no issues there, and we want to get access to the GD, um, Sorry, the um, CD-ROM or GD-ROM drive. So we're just gonna unscrew that. It's about three screws. You can feel free to pause this and go slower if, if I'm going too fast. Uh, make sure you take all of them out. And then once you do, lift it gently up and you are good to go, my friend. And you no longer need this sucker, so chuck it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't chuck it. You might need it in the future. So real easy to put the GDEMU in. It's just got a little adapter on it and it goes right where the GD-ROM drive was. And that's it. It's as simple as that installation pretty much done okay so now for the SD card you will need to format the SD card and do all that uh, but I'm just showing you where it goes and then I'm gonna instruct you as to how to set this thing up it's pretty simple and straightforward I just want to show you where it goes so we'll set it up right now okay guys so before you can get this all working you're gonna have to do this step first so you're gonna have to go to gdemu.wordpress.com. It's going to give you a website. It's going to have a bunch of stuff and you're going to be really confused as to what you have to do. So I'm going to walk you through it. It's basically, uh, ignore all this stuff. You want to go to the links, um, the links link. And so when you do that, you're going to see if you scroll down a little bit, there's a link for the GD menu. So you need to load the GD menu on the GDEMU for you to get the menu system with all the games list and all that stuff. So pretty straightforward. Just click this link. It's going to take you to a zip file. Um, you're going to download that zip file. Um, so I'm going to save that. So this is where it gets pretty easy. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. The one thing I'm going to um, ask you guys to make sure you do 
Okay, we've already got the file. So the one thing I'm gonna say you need to make sure you do is when you format the SD card, format it in FAT32, and I'm gonna have some links in the description of the SD cards that seem to work. So I'm gonna use the one I did, so then that way I'll give you the link to that and you should have no problems. Uh, so basically what you do is when you get the GD menu software, you'll see when you open it up in the zip file, there's a directory structure that looks just like this. It's gonna look exactly like this. Um, all you're gonna do is copy this exactly as is to your SD card that you formatted in FAT32. That's all you do. So then what you end up with when you look at the, the SD card is something that looks kind of like this. So ignore two and three because those are games I installed. So basically what, what ends up happening after you copy this, these files to the root of your directory structure, uh, every game you install has to have a directory number. So 01 is actually reserved for the GD menu itself. So don't touch that. So what I did was I wanted to install two games. I wanted to install Ready to Rumble, boxing and um, Daytona USA. So I made another folder, 02, and that's where I put Ready to Rumble Boxing. So basically you make the folder, you copy the files into that folder. Now here's where it gets tricky. This GDI file is normally called Ready to Rumble Boxing. You're gonna actually change this. Um, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit more, just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I guess you're not gonna be able to see it better. I'll zoom in and post. So um, you need to change it to disk.gdi. Um, if it's GDI or CDI, whatever it is, you're gonna have to make it disk always. So any game that's in a game folder, you know, subsequent game folder, 02, 03, 04, 05, and so on, you have to make sure that the game name is named disk. I know it's crazy, that's what it expects to see. So if you look, if you look at Daytona USA, you'll also notice it says disk.gdi. So just make sure when you import those files that the game title name is disk and not the title name that, that it came across as. So that's really important, it will not work otherwise. That's pretty much it. As long as you follow this, these instructions, uh, it will work perfectly. So your game files will go in the directory names um, and you keep going. So if I were to add a fourth game, I would create a new directory, 04. I would open that directory. I would copy the game files into this directory. And my next step is to rename the GDI or CDI file to disk.gdi or disk.cdi, and that's it. After you've done with that, you can eject the SD card and put it uh, into the um, GDEMU and, and, and boot up the Dreamcast and you're good to go. That's it, that's all it is to it. So that is really confusing in the beginning because the instructions aren't that sp specific, like I'm giving them to you. So as long as you know that, uh, you should be able to be good to go. And um, there is one thing I didn't add to the, there is, there's one thing that I didn't add to the modification that I'm gonna do later. I didn't show you guys how to secure uh, the GDEMU to the board. Um, I mean, it's fine the way it is. You don't really have to secure it down. It, it's pretty snug, but um, I was thinking about buying some uh, motherboard mounts just to make sure that I can get that pretty tight. And then the other thing is there's a 3D printed mod that goes on top so that you can open up the disc tray and actually slide the card right in. I haven't done that yet. So I'll do that on a subsequent video. I just wanted you guys to functionally see how it works. All right, guys, let's power up the GD EMU. Okay, so uh, providing we've done this all right, it should boot right up into uh, GD menu. So I just put on two games. I put on Daytona USA and Ray Rumble Boxing 2. So uh, while we're in the menu, I just wanted to point out a couple things. So in GD menu, you'll get uh, the game disc uh, images and uh, a little bit of information about the game. So when you go into the menu itself, which is, uh, oop, nope. If you go into the menu itself, you'll have some options. Um, region free will just make it so that you can play uh, any region games. Uh, Force VGA, uh, there's some caveats in the manual that talk about this. It actually says, uh, there's a note in there about um, certain games not working in Force VGA mode. So I haven't had that, I haven't had that, uh, that happen to me yet. So we'll just leave that alone. 
Uh, In-game reset, that's you can actually hit X, Y, A, B. You hit all four buttons and then press start, and it'll get you back to GD menu, which is kind of nice because you don't have to get up and reset the console or anything like that. Uh, boot intro and Sega license are supposed to make the system's system boot faster. Um, I've toggled this on and off and didn't notice a difference in a couple of the games that I tried. So I'm just keeping it on for now. It's no big deal. I don't mind seeing the Dreamcast logo and the Sega license, but um, it's supposed to eliminate it. It hasn't worked on the couple games I tried, so we'll just leave that alone. Um, uh, system info just gives you some information about the GD uh, EMU's firmware and boot ROM, which can be updated. I haven't played with that. I just I just took it out of the box and didn't really want to mess with it. So I haven't done anything with it. It's working fine. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Unless there's some reason for me to upgrade it, I'm going to leave it as is. All right. So I'll show you guys that the games work. I just hit A to launch Daytona USA and we'll, uh, we'll get started. Like I said, there's an option to shut the Dreamcast loading screen off, but I didn't... Um, it didn't work for me, so uh, we'll just leave that alone for right now. All right, let's skip through this and get to the game. But I haven't had any problems. I put on six or eight different games, tried those out, all worked great. Um, boot times seemed good. Uh, I will say that uh, one of the things that was interesting is in the manual, it talks about... Um, SD card support. So I just used an SD card I had and it worked great, but I'll put some information in the description about that. All right, let's try a single race. Hornet. Race start. All right, let's Ladies do this. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Okay. <laughs> I used to love this game in the arcade, man. I feel like um, cold trickle every time I play this. Rubbin', rubbin' is racing. Dropping the hammer. No, you're not. All right. Oh shit. Can you imagine being a NASCAR race driver? I mean, it's kind of crazy to think going around a track like this at 200 miles per hour. This many times. Check your position. Alright, final lap. If I could get off the grass, that'd be awesome. Check your position. Stay low with the turn. Uh oh. Oh damn! Come on! Uh that sucks all right let's go back to the menu so like i said four buttons start oh wait that didn't work there we go so pretty cool gets you right back to the menu so i'm just gonna do red rumble boxing and then uh show you that that works and then we'll we'll go and i'll show you how to set up the sd card it's pretty straightforward All right, that skip thing would have been really cool if it worked, but whatever. Apparently it ain't working, so we ain't trying it. Hey, man, come on. I don't know about you guys, but this was, uh, I think this is one of the first Dreamcast games I actually got, if I remember right. Um, and I remember thinking how crazy cool these graphics seemed at the time. Select your boxer. Who do I want to be? I don't remember who I used to play. Whoa, damn. I feel like I used to always play the Afro guy. Afro Thunder. Let's do it. Big Willie Johnson. Let's get rid of Rumble. Love 
love that. From New York. Can you imagine that guy made so much money off just one saying? Oh, oh, damn, damn! That's right, I'll take you out, Big Willy! Come on, Big Willy! Come on, Big Willy! Touch me and I'll sue! Come on, punk! Touch me and I'll. Oh, damn, get my butt kicked! <laughs> Touch me and I'll sue! Come on, come on! Touch me and I'll sue! Better hit Lynn, one uppercut! Oh, 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 oh! Get that uppercut! Oh, 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 oh! oh. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh no! 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 Damn! Three, four, five. I got this, guys. Don't even worry about me. Wreck it, Ralph. Let me show you how it's done. Let's show Ralph has this. There we go. See? It's round two. It's round two. It's no problem. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, Willie. Oh, 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 no. E. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. You know what? I gotta learn to block a little bit. Right? Now he's way better at this game. Oh, come on. Just gonna land one of those uppercuts. How am I getting beat by Big Willie Johnson? Oh, oh. oh no, damn. Come on. No! I can hear him talking trash about me. Oh, damn! That's right, baby! Two, three, That's right, Big Willie. <laughs> Come on, Big Willie. We got this. Come on, Big Willie. What you got? See? Round three, guys. Don't even worry about me. I got this. It comes out with an uppercut. It's so funny because I have the headphones on. I can hear him talking trash about me. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. I can't be beat by Boy Bill Willie Johnson. Just can't happen. Watch the hair. That's right, Big Willie. No, 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 no! Oh, 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 oh! You lose! <laughs> Alright, back to the GD menu. Wow. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know why it does that sometimes. There we go. So, I know you guys are really impressed with my Raider Rumble boxing skills. No, you're not. There you have it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this modification. We got the uh, GDEMU installed. We played a couple games from it. The GD menu is pretty convenient. Uh, I liked it. I would recommend this mod, man. Definitely. For sure, if you have a Dreamcast, very cool. Plus, you don't know how long that obstacle mechanism is gonna last for, right? It's a mechanical device. I don't know how long parts are gonna last for it uh, and when they're gonna be available. So it could be one of those things. Park that thing on the side uh, and use the GD. EMU for now for convenience purposes. Anyways, on a subsequent episode, we will go ahead and install that 3D printed device. Uh, you saw in the video what that does. It sits right here and gives you a nice little SD card slot. Not that it's not that it's not hard, not easy to just stick your hand in there, but anyways. So guys, thanks again. Please like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, thanks again for all your support, and we will see you on the next one.